I want to build a world. <laughs> Hi friends, I'm Nate Salman, and I make music under the name Water Strider. I also have another project called Tall Mirage that I do with my friend Raphael, where we make kind of dancey electronic stuff. I've been making music as Water Strider for roughly 11 years now, uh, with all kinds of wonderful collaborators and friends along the way. I've had varying degrees of what some might call success. And I just kind of wanted to start sharing my experience, my journey. I also want to start sharing a bit more of my production process and my writing process. And just sharing more of my self and my experience as an artist in this wild world that we live in. On that note, I'm trying to be a bit more of a documentarian as I try to build a world of sound and color, which is a great record by Alabama Shakes, by the way, and share this kind of magical thing that's floating around in my head in a lot of abstract forms. I wanna create a world that others can get lost in and that reflects all the things that inspire me so deeply uh, artists like Hayao Miyazaki, Ursula K. Le Guin, Neil Gaiman, musicians like Bjork, Bjork, it rhymes with jerk, Moses Sumney, Arca, Radiohead, Sioros, FKA Twigs, N.K. Jemisin, Jim Henson, The Dark Crystal is awesome. So what I've, what I've realized over time is that the world that I'm trying to build, it's not just gonna appear out of thin air that I, I thought I could maybe just spend all this time hiding away in my little cave, chip away at this thing, and then eventually come out with the product and show you the product. But the reality is we're in a world where it's way more interesting to see how things are built. I really love looking at other artists' processes, processes, and learning how I can apply elements of their workflow into my own life. I thought it'd be interesting to start trying to share that, and I hope this will be a place where I share my production uh, approaches, my own kind of passions and things that are exciting me, and also uh, bring other, some other folks on board, other artists I know in various mediums to kind of talk about their process and have a discussion. What I've realized is that in trying to build a world, I need to share the process. But the world's not just gonna appear out of thin air. And I think it's more interesting to watch that world being built and see behind the curtain. Hopefully you'll join me as I attempt to create this world that I have in my head. And the process of doing that might be the world itself. That might be the world that I'm building, that we're building together. And that's another part of it, is I want to create community around the things that I love. And I wanna be a part of the community. I wanna be in conversation with people that are doing really interesting things. I wanna know what you're up to. I wanna connect with people because the thing that has resonated the most with me, the thing that keeps me going every day is reflecting on people that have reached out to me personally to express how much the work that I've created has affected their lives. And it's pretty humbling knowing that something I've created helped someone through a hard time or helped someone fall in love or helped someone feel better about who they are or how they fit into things or to make them feel less alone. That's why we love concerts and movies and music and art and video games and all this stuff that people create because it's a reflection of who we are on the inside. So we get to see how it is to be someone else, how it is to live through their eyes. And I think that's a way of feeling a lot less alone. For me, all the music I love has always felt like a way of being seen. Like somebody's having a similar experience and reflecting on things and writing words or writing sounds or anything and, and I'm 
experiencing that and going, I feel the same way. I think about things the same way. A book that's really resonating for me over and over and over again is this book called Steal Like an Artist. It's by Austin Kleon. He wrote another book called Show Your Work, which is a big inspiration for why I'm even doing this. Both of those books are just kind of about sharing. Like, it's all about sharing and borrowing and creating and communicating in this sort of scene, right? Um, he has a great word called senius. Um, it's the opposite of genius, basically. I'm no genius, and I much more relate to the idea of senius, where I am a part of this community of people, of artists, of people in my local Oakland music community who are creating things together, creating a scene together, creating sounds that are reflecting in each other's work, and together we're kind of bringing each other up. I love that idea. I think that's what this is all about. I believe creative expression is the closest thing we can get to knowing how it feels to be someone else on this planet. It's the closest we can get to seeing through someone else's eyes. For a long time, I thought the way to be a creative person was to become an enigma, hide away from the world, become this mysterious persona that just comes out of their cave every once in a while with this genius piece of art, right? I've learned the hard way that that's not how it works, in fact. I think what I wanna do is be a creator of something that feels mysterious and magical, but you get to see what goes into that process. Maybe it's gonna be total crap, and that's fine. Um, but at least you get to see what happens, you know? Let's go on an adventure together. I spend countless hours researching, studying other people's processes. I love podcasts like Song Exploder and Broken Record and Tape Notes, specifically about music production, songwriting, things of that nature. What goes into the process of making music as an artist um, and a producer. I love how music works by David Byrne. I think it's an incredible book about his process and all the things that go into being a musician that aren't just writing songs and playing instruments and recording things. I've been listening to a really great audiobook called Miracle and Wonder, Conversations with Paul Simon. Basically, these things fascinate me because I'm always learning, and that's part of being a creative person, is that everything makes us excited, it makes us want to keep going. The idea that excites me the most is that there's just so much more to discover, there's so much more to learn and to steal, as Austin Gleon would say. And I think of that as sort of remixing things, right? You take things from different places and you put them together. Everything is a remix. Another great thing that I'm going to link down below. I'm so inspired by other people's processes. I hope me sharing my process can maybe be a source of inspiration for you. I hope you can check out my other weekly-ish series called Wanderings, which is a series of live acoustic performance videos all around the Bay Area, and I'll link to it somewhere up here, because I don't understand how YouTube works yet, but I'll learn. We're learning, everyone. We're learning together. We will learn together and we'll know. Yeah, I think that's all I have to say. There's probably a lot of edits, because. I was just kind of rambling and figuring this out as I went. I hope you uh, check out some of the links below. I'm going to put a whole bunch of links for various things that inspire me. Books, YouTube videos, podcasts, whatever. Stuff that I mentioned in here and probably some other stuff as well. And I hope that maybe you comment on this video with stuff that's inspiring you. I would love to know about it. Alright, this has been fun. I hope it's been informative, interesting intriguing for you. And until then, stride on, my friends. See you later. Stride on. Is that super cheesy? Probably. I don't care. I'm gonna say it anyway.